again guys uh, I just actually got a message on YouTube from a girl asking me if I could show really quickly how to use a tool to do some minor retouching to a picture and um, I'm gonna go more into depth on this a bit later on but I just wanted to help her out just a little bit and show a couple of quick tricks. She told me she had a landscape picture and there was C and she wanted to remove uh, something on the C, a uh, small dot in the distance that was probably a boat or something and um, also a couple of other things from some buildings. So I just found this picture that I took myself a few years back to use as an example and starting off with retouching your pictures there's one tool that I think you should start with and that's the spot healing brush tool but I'm just quickly going to uh, make a new layer here first and I'm just going to go into levels I'm going to show you a bit more about levels later on but I think it's a bit too bright the image so I'm just going to change it a little bit. I'll explain in a, a later tutorial what I'm doing. So just to make it look a bit better before and after. I think that looks pretty cool compared to the original one. So I just did that and I'm just gonna make another layer again to do the actual retouching. So I'm just gonna call this one levels and call this one retouch retouching like that it's a good idea I think to name your layers just to know what you're doing in case you want to go back and uh, change something in one of the layers or just see what it looked like along the way especially when you're new to Photoshop and trying to learn things it can be a good idea to to go back and see what you've done so anyway um, like I said the spot healing brush tool you find it up here there are several tools here and the first one the spot healing brush tool is the easiest one in my opinion and like I said the one you probably want to start off with when you're doing small changes or just removing small things. So I'm choosing that one. Choose my retouching layer. And I want to remove this boat over here. Just gonna zoom in a little bit more. And you wanna resize your brush so it shouldn't be too big and it shouldn't be too small obviously so you just want something that covers the area pretty well like that and what the spot healing brush tool does is that it takes the pixels around your brush and sort of fills inside your brush with them so this means that when I'm clicking now the boat will be gone and Photoshop is trying to make it look like the sea around it inside the brush. So just move over here and I just click once. It looks pretty good. You can still see there's some weird things going on there. So I'm just gonna click a couple of more times like this and that looks pretty good. This is what it looked like with the boat and this is without the boat. So for now that's that's pretty good result I think. Um, yes and let's see if we can find something else to remove here. I'm gonna remove some of the snow up here. Again I'm gonna change my brush size a bit like that. I'm just clicking and you may want to you know resize your brush or 
click a couple of times to make sure that uh, Photoshop doesn't take the pixels like from the place where you don't want it to. So I'm just clicking a bit, trying to have it look as natural as possible. You can also click and like draw a line like that. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So just clicking run a couple of times. That looks pretty natural to me. If I just saw this picture for the first time I wouldn't think there was anything unusual going on going on up there. So I think that looks pretty good. So again this is the original image that I started with. Then I did uh, some adjustments to the levels which gave me a much cooler look I think. And here's the boat and here's the snow and this is the final image without the snow and without the boat. So that was a very quick tutorial on the healing spot brush tool. I'm gonna go uh, more into depth on this later on and show you a couple of really cool things to do with several of those retouching tools and such but this was just a quick little help for uh, Andrea from Sweden I think and uh, I hope this is useful useful for her and for everyone else watching and I'll see you again very soon thanks for, for watching bye